The video that you're about to watch is three years old and doesn't represent my content's quality today. But I wanted to re-upload it because I found where my content wanted to go and this was the first video where I decided to go in that direction. The only thing that's changed is the section that was taken down for copyright, which in turn made it get blocked worldwide. If you like this video, please check out the newer stuff that I've uploaded, which is my previous videos and stuff like that. Thank you very much. Tom sitting on a railroad track. Jerry looking from above, sympathizing with his current situation. How did this happen? This is not a normal start to any Tom and Jerry episode. It's more melancholic and depressing. Something that doesn't quite fit in the Tom and Jerry universe. Something else doesn't fit either. Jerry quote unquote speaks in this episode. You don't talk! The characters in Tom and Jerry are silent characters. Even though most supporting characters of the show have voice lines, Tom and Jerry themselves are mute, excluding the voiced one-liners, the movie, and that one episode where Tom turned into Frank Ocean. Eat you wheels, or eat you ain't my baby. After listening to this, we get a little concerned. The phrases that Jerry uses are quite commonly found in suicide notes, or a person's explanation as to why suicide is a better option to fix their life. He also says that it would be better for Tom to die this way. I have no particular analysis of this line. It left me confused for longer than I could remember. My opinion about what he says here is that Jerry is reciprocating Tom's feelings in his speech. The actual opening of the episode shows Tom and Jerry enjoying each other's company, something that's not common in this universe, but we've seen them being nice to each other and cooperating to fulfill a common goal, so this doesn't count in our list of anomalies in this episode. It's a normal day, until the ugliest cat woman in the world walks in and Tom goes head over heels for her. Like dude, your taste sucks. Now before I continue, let me talk about today's sponsor, no one because no one is gonna watch this video anyways. This scene may be my favorite scene in this episode. The girl literally turns Tom into a donkey. Some people might view this as a funny gag that most episodes use. Tom looking different than what he usually does. But just remember this scene, okay? Remember what it symbolizes. In this scene, we see Butch too, and he likes this lady, and tries his best to woo her, while Tom does the same. This is the main theme of the episode, it's a formula that's been tried before. Two friends turn into enemies as they try to woo the heart of the one they love the most. Tom is adamant on proving his love is truer than Butch's love. He does this by bringing her flowers. Alas, he has been one-upped by Butch. He gave the girl... something. I don't know what that is, but it's a whole damn lot. And this gag continues for the next item, perfume. Tom just can't reach Butch's level. Which is way too much money to waste, by the way. Who in their right mind does this stupid stuff? The episode slowly shows Tom's downward spiral into bankruptcy, selling his assets just to afford gifts for the lady, and every time Butch has one-upped him again, and again, and again. This is where the episode gets darker, and its theme shifts towards one of depression and losing all hope. The next scene shows Tom drinking his troubles away. He is so sad that he just stops caring for everyone around him. Even his best friend, Jerry, as you can see. Of course, the alcohol is replaced by milk because... You know, for kids! He almost let himself drown, and Jerry saved his life. But before we can have a happy ending, we are hit with one last bombshell. The girl married Butch. Remember when I told you to remember that scene where Tom turns into a donkey? Let's rephrase that. Instead of the girl turning Tom into a donkey, we can say the same exact thing that the scene wants to tell us using a different sentence with similar words. She made an ass out of Tom. And the problem is, that's completely right. She did do that. 
She pretended to love him just to throw him away like garbage when she found a bigger wallet. She was a textbook gold digger. This is the straw that finally breaks Tom's back. He had enough. He's taken the decision to take his own life. He sits at the train tracks waiting for his final demise. The end is self-explanatory. You can watch it on your own. And that is Blue Cat Blues, the final episode of Tom and Jerry. Well, not really. You see, there were two years left till Tom and Jerry aired its final episode, but due to the dark themes and its open ending, people have taken this episode as the last one, the death of Tom and Jerry. One thing I didn't touch on was Jerry's appearances in the episode. Contrary to his normal behavior where he bullies Tom no matter what, he seems to try his best to get him out of his predicament. We only see him four times, yet all of those scenes show him trying to help Tom, excluding the intro and the end. So what have we learned? Gold diggers suck, I've ruined your childhood, the end. That was quick, huh? Jokes aside, this episode had so much controversy surrounding its depressing themes, the director had to release a statement saying that Tom and Jerry jumped away at the last second and were never hit by the train at all. But we know that's what you didn't actually mean to do in the script, right? Yeah. Dad? Yes, sir. I have a confession. You what? I'm sorry. I really am. Sorry. And I'm very disappointed in you. But as long as you're safe, that's all that really matters. Thanks, Dad. But one more thing. Yes, Dad? 